Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have come to Twisted Oats today and as you can see behind me I have got the three mulch kickers and the reason I'm stood up here is because I want to hit them again today. It's been a while and I've kind of built up this scaredness in my head to ride them and everywhere I go where there's wooden kickers or mulch jumps or anything like that I chicken away and I'm just too scared to do it and my confidence has just taken a huge plummet and I really want to try and build on that and change it today so the end goal is to ride the kicker behind me and hopefully we're going to get to that in a second but I think first of all we should head over there go into the woods and ride some of the jumps that I'm used to riding and I actually have some confidence on so we're going to do a warm-up lap over there That's such a fun one. I have actually ridden these kickers before and that actually sometimes really does confuse me because I think to myself, I've done this before, why can't I do it now? But I feel like it's really important to remember that even if you have done something before, everybody has an off day where perhaps you can't do it and you can't get your head around it and you just feel really low confidence. And I'm going through that stage at the minute where I am just really low confidence, but I really want to try and ride these kickers so I think we should just, just just give it a go I need to like get over my head which is hard but we've got to push through it today and if I can do it you guys can do it oh my god I don't know why I'm so nervous okay oh my god oh okay first one out of the way I need to go a bit quicker Yo, there we go. Okay, right, I definitely need to go a bit quicker, but I'm kind of glad that I just got that first one out of the way because it's not that bad. <laughs> and I know it's not that bad, but I don't know, for some reason in my head, I just had something against them. I think it's every time we've come, it's been really windy and it's just really got into my head. But yeah, we've got the first one out of the way. So let's go a bit quicker, get a bit more air time and try and clear the jump now. Oh, I'm still really nervous. Look how much I'm shaking. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm still really nervous. I'm shaking, even though I've done it a few times. But I'm going to take the GoPro off because I can feel it hitting the bars as I go up the ramp and we'll just use the shots that Tom films now but still quicker, still need to go quicker. Oh, let's try again. Almost. I'm glad to see that she's hit the ramp now and it's only been a few goes but I think she's starting to attack it with more confidence and what's actually quite cool is they've stepped it up a bit which makes the landing a bit steeper but what it also does is creates a knuckle so there's no questions as to whether you case it or clear it now because if you case it you definitely feel it as it's like landing on the back of a speed bump. I've just told her to full speed it so let's see if she takes my advice. Oh, that was the speed bump effect, people. But it was a good attempt. Faster, KJ. Oh, okay, right. That's actually such a huge thing for me because hitting that jump is terrifying. And I think for me, it's just trying to go quicker now. But that is so scary because going fast at something like that is huge. This ramp is massive, look. <laughs> How big is it? Six foot? That's eight. Eight? That's crazy. And so terrifying, but we're working on it. I kind of just want to get to the point where I feel comfortable to like, just keep hitting it. And I, the only way you're going to do that is just practice, practice, practice. So 
that's what I'm going to do today. Just stick, stick with this and hopefully we can get some progression. Go, 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 power. Yes, that was better. Yes. yes, there we go. Yo! Nice one, KJ. Thank goodness for that. That's wow. Sick. That was so scary. I don't know why I'm so scared. Was it easy, though? Yeah, it was. It's taken me like. I, got, I had to like recompute my brain to allow myself to do it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but sometimes you don't know what it is, and that's the thing. But I'm stoked on that. And that time I came in from the right, because Tom actually made a good point. I generally turn better going right, and I was getting a little bit more speed by doing that, so it helped me to clear it. But yeah, I'm gonna do it again and see if we can clear it a second time, or if that one was just a fluke. <laughs> Right, I'm feeling pretty good on that middle one now. We just filmed a quick Insta clip, which I'll insert right now. I'm managing to hit it full speed, whereas the first couple of times I did brake check a few. Um, but now I think we should move on to the big one. It's a lot scarier, but in some ways it should be easier because the ramp is a lot more gentle. So it's time to brush the cobwebs off and give it a go. Yo. Well, that was the scared one out the way. She should hit it full speed now. Well, that was scary. I like really wobbled on that one. I think I just wasn't mentally prepared for the takeoff. But now I've got the first one out of the way, like with anything, I think it'll be easier the next time. I'm gonna try and go a bit quicker, but it's just a mind game because whenever we come here and there's people that are sat at the top of the rolling contemplating which one they wanna hit, we always say actually to hit the bigger one because although it is the biggest, it's actually the easiest, but it's a weird trick that it plays on your mind. But as much as you can like get over the fact that it is the biggest one, then it does feel so much easier, which is exactly, well, it's the truth because I just hit that then and I didn't get as much air time as I did on the middle one. But yeah, let's try it again. Right, we're putting the GoPro back on for this big one. Let's go full send. It's so scary because you've got to go flat out at a wooden wall, basically. But yeah, let's try. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Yo! That was sick. I'm stoked that I managed to hit the big kicker because there was a minute there where I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to. But I pushed through it and we did it, which is sick. Now, Tom's got his jump bike out, as you can see there. And we're gonna head back over to the mulch because it's actually freezing today and poor Tom's just gotten so cold, stood there filming. So it's my turn now. And he's gonna hit the mulch kickers and do some tricks for us. Wow. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Basically, I was on filming duty today and Cara decided to rope me in at the last minute to ride. So I didn't bring riding trousers for dirt jumping and these trousers that I was driving in don't actually fit my pads under. <laughs> so tight. So I can't move. I literally like the crotch is like <laughs> that, and then I'm getting cramped walking up there because it's cutting all the blood off to my legs because they're so tight. Which is why you're just doing 360. Oh, I can't move in any other position. I think. <laughs> I'm like oh. it's like a straight jacket. Right. Shall we go do a bit of a finale at the dirt jumps? Let's do that. 
I've made my way over to this dirt jump zone and I think to end the video we are going to go through the table line and it's actually so much fun because you can get quite big air on them still and I can boost that last one but it is a tiny bit windy for the big main line with the gaps obviously if you get blown or if your speed gets messed up it's harder to pull out of obviously with the tables you can just break and roll over them so we're going to stick with the safer option but we're still going to boost it so let's do it Was sick that's such a fun one to boost because it's not massive but if you pull up you can actually get some quite good height on it so that's actually my favorite thing to do on that last jump and I kind of feel quite cool when I do it as well but what a day it's been today I think I've progressed so much in my head maybe not so much on the bike because I've done stuff that I've done before but in my head I've overcome a huge barrier today by just getting on with it doing it and believing in my ability and I think that's half the problem sometimes you battle with your head more than you realize and it's sometimes really important to give yourself a bit of a back in and say no I can do this because nine times out of ten you absolutely can so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up put your comments down below and I shall see you guys very soon bye yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way